means well put together and paint needs the bread for the work that is carried out. So originally it is developed to a group of persons who took their meals together. A company can be defined as an artificial person, invisible, intangible, created by or under law, which is a discrete legal entity, perfect for succession and a common seal. These are the characteristics of company which are explained further. Characteristics of company voluntary association, very obviously, it has to be agreed among the people who are actually thinking to form an organization or a firm with the aim of profit. Incorporated association is cooperated by law, it is abided by law. Separate legal entity is a business and a businessman are treated separately. Common seal, the company also has a signature of its own, which is known as the common seal. Limited liability, in case of company, the liability is limited. Liability refers to the uh, anything which company owes to the outsider. Limited liability means if in case of losses the company is not able to repay its debt, then its personal property will not be seized. Its business property will be seized. A control succession which defines the concept of ongoing, which says that the companies move on and on despite of the fact even if the owner dies. The capacity to sue and be sued. In this, the anything, any firm or organization that finds the companies going against them can sue the company. And likewise, the company finds any organization, firm, or the employees going against the company can sue them. <coughs> Separate management, like company is an artificial person, but still it cannot manage on its own. It has a separate management. Next slide. History says that in year 1769, the abbreviation for company came, that is CO dot. In North America, two of the earliest company were the London Company, an English joint store company, and Flymo Company. Now we have a video from Mangal Pandey and
company like private companies or big limited companies, government companies. They, it's up to you which type of company you are going to select. If you are going to select a company, then you have to consider the, what, what is the aim of your company, what is the objective of your company, what is the you know, operation and what is, what, what is the amount of capital you are going to invest in that company. <coughs> Here, when you are going to establish a company, form company that time, you have to submit go to six number of uh, names. You can give go to six number of names to uh, MC, minister of uh, register of company. With the register of company, you check out whether the name is already available, is taken by already with other companies or not. If it is taken, he reject that. If it is not taken, he uh, suggests yeah, this uh, name is already. However, you can take it. But while you are selecting the name, it is important that you have to mention what is the significance of the name. You also check out whether the name of the company is in is as per your objective or not. You have the director of identification number. You know uh, we have a uh, like UID number, unique identity number. So yeah, whenever there is a director of company, he is also it is also compulsory for him that he should have a number for Identification number. So, uh, for that, you have to apply to MCA that the number of uh, company appears. Perfect. He has to form, give a form for form 1K. And this number, whatever he gets, that number is a lifetime number. What is the digital signature? Yes. Thank you.